Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2024 ski test. We've got a K2 Mindbender 108 Ti for you today. Uh, no structural changes for this ski for this year, just a graphics update. Uh, they changed it going into the previous season, so those updates continue forward into this year. Uh, just kind of tweaked the metal laminate as well as the shape. Uh, they also added the full sidewall to the mix, so kind of taking a little bit out of the metal and putting the strength back into the sidewall made a lot of sense, um, especially considering the fact that the previous build of this ski uh, some people just found it to be a little bit twitchy and grabby. Uh, the new metal shape as well as that sidewall really kind of eat into that and make the ski a lot smoother, uh, more predictable in the initiation phase, uh, better for both hard and soft snow because it's a little bit floatier uh, and just a nice, smoother, overall progressive feel uh, for this kind of more directional, more aggressive free ride ski. You know, at 108 underfoot, it definitely moves into that free ride category, but a lot of the construction and uh, just overall footprint realms uh, put this thing, you know, kind of in between that all mountain and free ride. Uh, call it whatever you want, this thing rips. Um, built with that Aspen wood core and a mix of fur in there. It does have that nice blend of lightweight from the Aspen as well as the density. Uh, of the fur, which really helps to absorb vibrations and uh, just keep the ski relatively chatter free for you know any kind, type of bouncy snow, chalk, crud, chop, stuff like that. That fur really helps to smooth it out, especially at higher speeds. Uh, we do that get their tightenal Y beam in here as well. So you know having the arms reach out onto the side and then go to a full width underfoot and then tapering to a central portion here. They did change it up. They put a little bit more metal back here, kind of a, uh, a little bit more, more of their hexagon shape of a metal piece back here. Uh, so more metal overall in the tail does help with stability and tracking. Um, and then by bringing the metal down lower into the ski to start versus the previous version, it does help give this thing a little bit more flotation and ease of use when entering the turn. So nice sophistications to those, to that metal beam there. Um, and then that full sidewall as well really goes a long way in helping this thing stay pretty true to the turn and just keeping it confident and stable throughout. This is the 179 uh, and it does come at the cost of weight a little bit, 2160 grams. So a little bit hefty there, but again, weight equals stability. So if you're in that more aggressive zone, big mountain areas, wider open spaces, letting it run, uh, you'll be thankful that it has that weight. And since it's mostly found underfoot, you know, you still feel that lighter swing weight in the tips and tails. Uh, then the 186, we're getting a 22 meter turn radius, which is uh, getting on the longer side. And that's kind of what we're looking for with a more directional ski. Uh, you do want to be able to kind of point and shoot down, you know, down wider zones. Uh, it's not ideally suited for tighter spaces. Uh, you know, it's a little bit of a different shape than what we would normally deal with here in Vermont. Uh, certainly functions better in bigger zones, but still a whole lot of fun, uh, especially when you get that softer snow. And then they did kind of tweak that profile a little bit, not as much as in the narrower versions of the ski, uh, but we do see that nice long taper in the tip starting way down about here, nice and gradual, nothing crazy from a, from a uh, shape perspective. Um, and then taper wise, it does get brought down a little bit, widest part of the ski right about here. So nice spoony shovel. And then a little bit more all mountain oriented in the tail, you know, pretty, pretty flat back there, not a whole lot of splay, but long enough rocker to make it release easily. And then just kind of a gentle taper here uh, again, nothing crazy, definitely fits into that directional category where it's going to let you ride straight through the turn uh, without being too hooky or grabby, you know, introducing the playfulness, but uh, that's kind of what the, the carbon versions or the Reckoner version, uh, the Reckoner model from K2 is for versus this, which has more of that straight line mentality to it. Uh, definitely more reserved for that advanced and expert skier who doesn't mind a little bit of extra weight doesn't mind the longer turn radius. Um, you know, I think if someone's looking for a wider ski, 
uh, kind of as an introduction to free ride skiing and soft snow, there are better options, even, you know, a Reckoner 102 or 112 uh, would make a lot of sense, or the carbon version of this ski if you're looking for uh, lighter weight. So make sure you check out this K2 Mindbender 108 Ti here at SkiEssentials.com, and we'll see you out there on the hill. Bye.